A line of dead fish on Siesta Beach is a sure sign that red tide is back in Sarasota County. It's showing up in the Gulf of Mexico and portions of Sarasota Bay. Now, this bloom stretches from Collier to Manatee counties, and it appeared last month, soon after Hurricane Ian. Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisan says scientists are trying to determine how bad it could get and how long it may last. Depending on the wind, sometimes you get a sniff of air that has the red tide neurotoxins in it that causes you to cough. Other times, it's just the dead rotting fish on the beach. I think we kind of expect red tide when we come down now, not to this level. On Siesta Beach, Cindy Sarkady and her husband catch some Florida sunshine. It's refreshing compared to their Wisconsin winters. But this trip, they found more than seashells in the sand. It's uh, sad to see all the dead fish. Red tide has been present in these waters for the last month. Now dead fish are washing ashore. It's killing fish both in the bay and in the Gulf of Mexico. And that means you're at a level of about 100,000 cells. And we're at levels that are 10 times higher than that. Dr. David Tamasco is the director of Sarasota Bay Estuary Program. As the water temperature cools, we should be better off. If we don't get more rain, we should be better off. But we had a big slug of nutrients that came into our waters after Hurricane Ian. And that doesn't create red tide, but it makes red tides worse. And that's where we are. Satellite images show the bloom hugging the coast. While it appears to be a significant red tide, scientists say it's too early to know how it will compare to the red tide that began in 2016 and lasted more than a year. But they agree upon one thing, cleaning up excess nutrients that feed red tide is important now more than ever. If we had a healthier, more resilient bay with better water quality, this red tide wouldn't be as bad as it is. Scientists remind beach visitors if your eyes start to water or if you start to cough, it's time to move to a new spot. From Sarasota County, Kimberly Cuisan, Fox 13 News. Scientists say red tide already appears naturally this time of year, and now they're watching to see how all the extra nutrients that washed into the Gulf during Hurricane Ian will impact the red tide. So